gorgeous? Does that funk have you feeling stuck? Have you questioning your purpose or even yet having you asking if your best years are behind you? Girl, you have zero obligation to stay in that funk. This podcast is for women who want to get the funk out of here, who want to play bigger, ask for more, and step out of mediocrity. Imagine a life filled with lots of energy, excitement, and filled with funk instead of that funk. This is the Unfunk Your Mind Podcast. I'm your host, Crystal. Let's go. Hi, ladies. Welcome back to Unfunk Your Mind. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. But if you're new, hey, get ready, because this is a podcast where you get a monthly action assignment. So yes, an action is required. It's not a passive podcast where you learn something and you stew on what you learn. No, I take you back to the basics and expect action because action moves your compass. In some action, you may want to keep doing beyond the month that it's assigned. Think, for instance, last week. I got to put into action April's action assignment to find the humor, remember? I had to just crack up, ladies. We took the girls on a quick surfing trip. It started out at urgent care, though. Okay, then with that behind us, we jumped on the road. But while driving, I realized the doctor told my daughter not to submerge her hand in water. Yet here we were, headed to surf some waves. Oh, Okay, that's no problem. Let's just keep going. So we kept driving. We can surely figure something out. We continued driving, and then it was time for a pit stop. I had to use the bathroom. We needed gas, and my husband was getting a little hungry, so or a little hangry even. While taking down my pants in the bathroom, I hear this plop sound. A plop sound right into the toilet. Yes, it was my phone. My phone fell into the toilet. I totally forgot I had put it in my back pocket. I grabbed it out of the toilet so quick, you guys, and I ran it to the hand dryer. But I still needed to use the bathroom. So after I used the bathroom, dried my phone, I got myself together, and I went back into the convenience store, into the store part of it, grabbed a snack for the girls and drinks, and jumped in the car. So my husband jumped back on the road, and I started handing out the snacks and the drinks, and guess what? I totally forgot to grab my husband something. Of course, the next stretch of the highway, there was nowhere to stop. I felt terrible, you guys. Finally, we arrived and boom, we majorly scratched the passenger side bumper of the car. It was one of those moments where you hear it just crunch and you just sit in the car because you don't want to get out and look at the damage. So we finally got out and looked at the damage and it was so bad. But we decided, you know what, there's nothing we can do about it now, so we didn't let it ruin the trip. So after we get unpacked, we head over to the pier, and the locals tell us that the waves have been non-existent. Oh great, here we were, no waves, coming on a trip to go surf. So while we were there, it was gloomy weather, but the girls did manage to catch some waves. And on day two, A wave came in and both girls got up on the board because they both wanted the wave. One of them turned the wrong way into the other one. And so my youngest sees the oldest one turn her board towards her. She bails and covers her head. Thank goodness that her coach taught her to do that. And the oldest one bails too right before her board rams into my youngest daughter's surfboard. The tip slammed into it so hard that it put this huge gash, like this hole, and that led into a crack. Basically, not an easy repair, but I'm so thankful that my daughter bailed my youngest one and covered her head, because had that hit her head, it would not have been good news. We had to find her another board to ride. Seriously, when it rains, it pours, right? So we got back to the rental, walk into the bathroom, and termites were everywhere. They were crawling over the white towels. They were in the shower, on the soap, on the toothbrush. It was so disgusting. So we called the rental company and they sent this guy over. And he found this damp rotted wood in the window that they were attracted to, I guess. And I am telling you, it it felt like a thousand termites in there. It was so yuck. But instead of packing up or asking, why us? We literally just cracked up. We just found the humor in the whole thing. 
Despite all the strange and inconvenient circumstances, we just found the humor nuggets. Because you choose how you respond. And wouldn't you rather crack up and make the best of the rest of the trip? Or sit in misery and sulking until it was time to leave? I love that I had an action assignment in my tool belt to pull out and use it in that crazy trip. I thought I'd share because you'd get a kick out of that story and how I actually applied it to April's action assignment. But now here we are in October and in the States, it's time for Halloween. Kids knock on your door and say trick or treat in exchange for some candy. And as kids get older though, they start adding a little more language to the trick or treat. They start saying things like, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. So in the spirit of Halloween, trick or treat, smell my, wait, what stinks? Have you ever had that moment where you smell something stinky and unpleasant and you just can't figure out where it's coming from? I remember when we lived in the mountains and for months, this smell just wouldn't leave my nose when I stepped into our house. After being in the crisp mountain air, And walking through the front door, this smell would just creep right into my nose the second I opened the door. And eventually, I started to notice it even when I left my house. And the smell kept getting stronger. Like, I could smell it in my clothes. But I couldn't figure out where the smell was coming from. I even changed the laundry detergent, switched dryer sheets, and the smell was really getting to me. Then, it just so happens that our dryer goes out. And upon replacing it, the person installing the new one found tons of chipmunks, squirrels, and voles that had crawled into the dryer vent from a hole that led from outside. Because I guess they thought it was warm in there, so they went in, but they got trapped and they couldn't get out. So there were so many of these rodents in the dryer vent. Oh, it was terrible. And in this instance, the stink was coming from something I didn't even see. And that happens often, right? Things that stink, that we can't see, and that seep right into your life. What stinks for you? I recently heard Joyce Meyer say, stinking thinking. And I love that. Are your thoughts or what you think about stinky? And hey, maybe it's your actions that are stinky because you're only doing things for personal achievement and nothing for the benefit of others. Do you physically stink? Like you have stopped taking care of yourself or caring about your appearance. What is your stink coming from? You don't want to just accept the stink because if you do, you're now making that stink your partner. You're partnering with the stink in your life and it's leaving you all funked up. And here's the thing. You aren't the only one with stinky stuff. Your neighbor has stink too. And I'm not just talking about the people you live beside. But all those around you, your community, your nation, there's a lot of stink among us. We are all dealing with stink and it's important to remember you're not the only one. Show some compassion to your neighbor while they look for or they're trying to get rid of or address their stinks. This world has a lot of stinkers and we don't need to add more stinkers into the lives of those around us. We are called to be the fresh air to others the light, the encouragement to lift each other up. Last week in a group, we were asked to stand up and ask someone we didn't know how we could help them this week. Some asked for prayer for a loved one. Some shared a struggle that was going on. And some just asked their neighbor to spread love to those that were devastated by the hurricane. Gosh, when we stopped to ask our neighbors what was stinking, they were actually relieved to share. Expose the stink in your life and show compassion to your neighbor for the stinkers in their life. No one wants to be partnered with stink. You can choose what you want to partner with. Partner with fresh air with those that lift you up and get you out of the stink. Share your stink to get unfunked. Share it with others. And be patient because the stink doesn't always go away immediately even once it's been identified. It's true. That chipmunk smell stuck around for a little while in my house, even after the vents were cleaned. But eventually, it does leave. The stink does leave. Be bold and help someone else with their stink. It may require more than you just buying them an air freshener. It will likely require your time. But those stinks that stick around and just won't seem or don't seem to go away, 
require effort. They require perseverance. But I promise you that you and your neighbors are worth it. That stink doesn't belong in any of your lives. If it's stinking thinking, give yourself grace to work through it and transform your mind, transform your thoughts. If you have stinky friends, it may be time to find some new ones. If your neighbor brings you a stink, help them. Show some compassion. Now, ladies, you know what the action assignment is. To trick or treat and smell the stink. Show some compassion to yourself and your neighbors while you address the stink and offer a helping hand to exterminate all the stinks. We all have the power to offer others fresh air and help them through their stink. We don't need to partner with it. Even in the midst of our stink, we can help others with theirs. It's time, ladies. Let's go. Hi, ladies. Thanks for tuning into my mom's podcast, but I wanted to let you know she is not a doctor, not a psychologist, but just my mom, encouraging you to get back to the basics with lots of action. Oh, and to help you, unfunk your mind. Before you go, Superwoman, I'd love it if you took a little action for me. Like subscribe to my podcast and leave a review. Also, share the episode with a friend. And as a thank you, hit up my website, unfunkyourmind.com. That's right, unfunkyourmind.com to grab free journal prompts. Okay, ladies, now is the time to go unfunk your mind. Play bigger and ask for more. Open the door to possibility and cancel playing small. So get up and go.